Mike here. Jonah, the science guy, has dedicated another web page to me on his website. Thank you, Jonah. Appreciate it. Mike Helmick taking apples for oranges leads the wrong conclusion. Yeah, I wasn't even going to go over here because this back and forth stuff. Um, I'm not, I, but you know, I had to come over and look to see what he said, and it, it's the same stuff the Globe Earthers feed you. But yeah, why not? Let's take a look at it. Um, he encourages me to take a physics and optics course 101 class. Uh, thank you, Jonah. Appreciate the uh, suggestion there. Now, Jonah agreed with me that the Earth's curvature rate cannot be seen from ground level. Now, we're talking about the horizontal curvature or the horizon line. Okay? That's what we're talking about. Cannot be seen. There should be no curved water at all ground level. Period. Uh, Jonah makes this little diagram here. You can see higher if you're up. See farther if you're up higher. Okay. Well, that makes sense. Agree with that. Here he says curved water found. Uh, yeah, okay, sure. Uh, now, Jonah's beef is, uh, one of his beefs were that, um, uh, so this is over the horizon curvature. In your video, you mentioned no curvature horizon, which is correct. He agrees with me there. But you entirely missed the over horizon evidence on display here. And so the over horizon, we call depth of horizon, okay, which is these power lines apparently curving past the horizon line into over the supposed curve of the Earth below. That's what he's talking about, the uh, depth of the horizon, not the horizon line itself. Okay, so he agreed with me there should be no curvature here along this line. So we're going to check uh, Soundly's pictures and make sure that his lens distortion is not distorting anything to a point where we can't make a scientific guess on something. So we're going to check his horizon line. I have not checked it yet. We're going to take a look at that. His camera lens does have a known lens distortion. And uh, Jonah mentions it here. Effect check equals you fell. Well, what did I fail at? While discussing the characteristics of the camera lens used by Soundly, you mentioned this distortion was 73%. No, I did not. Okay, the lens distortion is 0.73%. That is much less than 1%. And uh, he put the article, he, he put my video here where I mentioned that. And I, I read this while maximum pinch cushion at three, 300 millimeters increased to a very noticeable 0.73%. And I drew lines over the top of it because I messed that up, but I mentioned that, Jonah. But the article says it's a very noticeable. So I, it doesn't matter if this is 0.005%. If it's noticeable, it's going to affect the quality of your image. Understand? And But we're going to check. We're going to check to see if there's any curb distortion in Soundly's pictures. Because if there is, they're no good. We can't use them. You know, just like if we see a mirage or the effects of looming, okay, in, in our photos over water, they're no good. We can't use them. That's, that's caused by refraction. And so uh, Jonah shows some more pictures here. So apparently these uh, power lines are vanishing over the curve of the earth. That's what Jonah's talking about. And uh, Jonah just assumes the Earth's curved. Okay? That, that's the only thing the Earth can be. It, it, it can't be anything else. You know, like if you're walking in a forest and you see a tree branch on the ground and someone believes in Bigfoot, well, the only way that tree branch is broken is because Bigfoot did it. Understand the thinking here. So let's take a look at some, uh, we're going to take a look at some of the pictures here. This is one of Soundly's pictures. I took off his Google Drive. He put the raw images on Google Drive. Uh, so problem is they were shrunk by 70%. So somewhere in him transferring the images to Google Drive, we lost some quality to his images. Uh, he used this cam uh, camera here, the Rebel T5. Okay, it's a $400 camera. That that's to me is an expensive camera. It's a pretty nice camera, but researching cameras, uh, it's bottom barrel. It's a 17 megapixel camera. I'd like to have one, and we don't want to put anybody down for what they do have. We should be grateful, but it it's process. Uh, there's a lot better cameras to do these tests with. I'll just say that they they go into the thousands of dollars. Okay, so Jonah's claim is that these power lines are disappearing over the curvature rate of the Earth. The curvature rate is eight inches per mile squared. I'm just going to draw a line along here. Uh, try to get those lined up the best I can. Bam. And Photoshop, and we're going to zoom in. That's Control Plus. 
Now, some things I want you to notice. First of all, horizon line will always is is where ground meets sky. That defines the horizon line. It has nothing to do with curvature rate, flat earth, or anything else. Uh, the horizon line is defined by where the ground meets sky. And it'll always be 50-50, uh, ground and sky, if your camera's level, no matter how high your camera is. It's always 50-50. Okay? In this picture here, we see the power lines following what Jonah considers the curvature rate of the Earth, but suddenly they drop off. Boom. And Jonah, the Earth doesn't just suddenly become more curved towards the end of our photo here. Okay? Uh, they would follow this line, this red line here, if this was the curvature rate of the Earth. Okay, so the Earth, Jonah, just isn't flat for a while, curving slowly, curving slowly, and then suddenly the Earth drops off in a big, massive curve at the end of the world. Flat Earthers believe that. You're not supposed to. You're supposed to believe in science. Eight inches per mile squared is the curvature rate of the Earth, and it's very subtle. The other thing we have is these bottom pieces here are extended over our horizon line. Folks, that is a, an effect of refraction. It's actually a mirage type effect. Inferior, they call it inferior mirages. And so our image should not be hovering in space here. This whole area is refracted. And I don't know, the only thing that will cause these power lines to curve down sharply like that is A, refraction, B, uh, Soundly's lens distorting the angle of these, or C, these power lines are curving over to the left. And I'm assuming these power lines go straight. I don't know. I just assume they do. Now, Jonah agreed with me that the horizon line should be exactly 100% flat. That's what he said. And so we're going to test to make sure that Soundly's Horizon line is not distorted by any curvature distortion of the lens because if it is, then none of this is any good for doing any type of scientific experiments. So let's put our red line right on the water, and as you can see here, we have distortion, curve distortion. This water line is curved and it should not be, especially from ground level and uh, Joni agreed with me on this so we have a distorted curve photo here photo here check one more one more photo here we get uh, we have the power lines we're gonna draw our line here and uh, <clears throat> once again hit control plus uh, once again, we see that these uh, power lines take a sharp dive starting here. Boom. This is not curvature because the Earth does not curve that fast and hard. This is a property of refraction and possibly part of the curved lens distortion, that the type of lens that Soundly is using because it does have a known curve distortion. This horizon line should be flat. Okay? Should be. To me, it looks like curved water here, but we're going to check and see. Get my tool there. We're going to check and see if, uh, if there's any. Yeah. I mean, seriously. So, Jonah, why you tried to kind of play off the effects of his lens and the equipment he's using? Jonah, his, his equipment's not not near good enough to uh, do any type of earth curvature test, okay? I mean, look at this. Earth is not that curved, okay? There should be no curve here. And his lens distorts this greatly. And this is caused by refraction, people. The, the lens will, the, whatever the light receives back, depending on the lens uh, and the index of refraction, we're going to see different distortion levels, but none of this is proof of anything. And here we are, uh, as you can see, let's zoom in here just a little bit more. As you can see, our power lines are extending over the horizon line. This is all refracted water back here. This is not where the uh, curvature rate is. Understand.
much like this image here. Now, if Globe Earthers were to film this, they would say, well, that guy's poor legs are being covered by the curvature rate of the Earth. It's the same thing here. So Jonah, nice try, but you're going to have to do better than this. Okay? And seriously, I, I really don't have time to go back and forth with you. Not that I mind, not that I dislike you, but I have other things to do besides debunking your claim that the Earth is a spinning ball flying through space at 483,000 miles an hour while traveling around the sun at 67,000 miles an hour. Okay? I, I just have better things to do. This is Mike. Please like and subscribe. Just like in this image here of the sunset, that is not the sun melting into the water. That is the actual water. Kind of reminds you of this image here. This gentleman walking on a mirage street. And obviously the bottom of his body has been eaten up. And that is what's happening on the ocean when we look at boats. The bottom of the boat has been eaten up. Here you can look underneath that right sail. Uh, there's nothing there. Whereas the actual boat, which I superimposed, had different sections of the boat there.